Okay, you're rolling. Okay, hi, Sarah. Um, so, you're the one that wanted to know how to do this without getting scratched or bitten, and it's not really fair, because Piper, Mr. Pumpkin Chunks, has no claws, because someone we don't like very much had them removed. But... Not guilty. Yeah, not that creature. So, you'd start usually by doing, actually, because your cat isn't going to be appreciating this, and this is what you want to know. So, I prefer to take the towel like this and put it around this way, not coming over the top. Because if you do that and then wrap it around, it's easier for them to shove their little feet out like that. That's not very fun. So, I should really have a cat that's struggling much more aggressively than this, because this is sad. So, I take my little cat burrito, and I know it's not very fair because Piper's docile. But you can do this, even if they're not very happy about it. It's easier if you back them into a corner so that you can even get a knee in front of them and they're in a corner. You can get a hand on top of them. You can keep your hand under the towel. <laughs> Man creature thinks this is hilarious. You can get a hand under Piper, the towel you're gonna get a lot under of the treats. chin so they can't bite you. And you can keep a firm grip on the towel so that they're not gonna get their little legs out. Should have covered earlier. I like to have saline solution so that I can do this. And although the corner thing is great, I prefer to just sit on them. <laughs> Here's our saline so, for this demo. Clean out their eye, and you want to be gentle. And again, if your cat's struggling, you can use the towel to hold them much easier, and it'll give you better control. You can get that towel up underneath them when you wrap them up. But having them like this, it's a way to control them without hurting them. And then this is just, it's a eye lubricant, there's nothing in it because I don't want to put anything in his actual eye. So, doing this by myself, I would hold this tightly. You don't want to stop them from breathing, but you want to restrain them. And this you can direct so they can't bite. Ideally, they won't be able to be getting their feet out from under there. You're okay, mister. And then, you can use, this is like a little bit of a ninja grip on the cat. So you can hold the towel, pull the eye up, pull the lower lid down, don't touch the applicator to their eye, and run it along there, following the directions on your ointment. You wanna get it on that lower lid. I know it's harder if your cat's struggling wildly, but that's the ideal, and you're gonna use the towel like you'd be holding them by the scruff to control them. And again, if you have them backed into a corner, you can do it the same way. It's just easier for me sitting on them. So that is how I administer eye ointment to a cat. Now you have to give them treats. They're and on show the bed. Where are they? I don't know. Oh that's no. Part of the, that's to be part of the presentation so you can see how the cat Yeah, because most cats are really going to be food motivated after all of that. Piper's like the only one in why I picked him. Oh. So and then the you know, obvious consolation prize afterwards to my... So oh. upset, does not even <gasps> want the treats. Chunks. Oh no. Well, maybe it helps to set them down first because that's our there cue to go. them. And that's how I administer eye drops or an eye gel. Eye drops are about the same way. You just administer them to the center of the eye instead of along that lower lid. And that's all. Um, sorry he wasn't much of a struggler, but that's the general idea of how to do it. Good luck with your kitten.